Here's how to memorize covalent, ionic, and metallic bonding in 85 seconds. For covalent, use the CO in it to get the word companion. The non in the end of it tells us it happens between non-metals only. Companions means friends that share, so covalent bonding involves the sharing of electrons. Use the VEN in covalent to remind you that the diagram looks like a Venn diagram with the shells overlapping. The outer electrons are distributed on the shells and some are shared to give each atom a full outer shell. This makes it stable. Everything is held together because the shared electrons, which are negatively charged, and the nuclei of the two atoms that are positively charged are attracted to each other. This is because opposite charges attract, and we call this electrostatic attraction. For ionic bonding, get the two I's and make a negative and positive symbol from them. These are opposites, which tell us these happen between metals and non-metals, which are also opposites. Use the NIC to get nick, because the non-metal nicks electrons from the metal. These electrons are transferred to get full outer shells to become stable, and this leads to a positive and negative ion being formed. The two oppositely charged ions also have electrostatic attraction between them. Finally, we have metallic bonding, which is just bonding between metals. For this, just imagine the two L's making a river of water with stepping stones in them. The stones represent fixed positive ions and the water represents a sea of delocalized electrons that flow through the ions. And the bond holding everything together is the electrostatic attraction between the fixed ions and the delocalized electrons.